shocker in fact uh, coming from uh, there but breaking news coming in the supreme court has in fact cancelled all but four of the 218 coal blocks that were allocated after 1993 that was a crucial verdict that was uh, coming in from the supreme court right now final order suna diya hai और अकॉर्डिंग टू द जजमेंट प्रोनाउंस बाय द सुप्रीम कोर्ट जितने भी कोल ब्लॉक हैं सारे कैंसिल कर दिए गए हैं किसी भी कोल ब्लॉक को बक्सा नहीं गया है वो कोल ब्लॉक जो लोगों की माइनिंग कर रहे थे उनको भी कैंसिल कर दिया गया है केवल थोड़ा नीचे कर थोड़ा केवल वो कोल ब्लॉक जो कि सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट को बिलोंग कर रहे थे केवल चार कोल ब्लॉक माइनिंग कर रहे थे जिनमें एक बंद है जो सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट की यूनिट थी जिनमें कोई भी ज्वाइंट वेंचर नहीं था केवल उन चार कोल ब्लॉक को रोका गया है क्योंकि वो सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट की यूनिट्स हैं बाकी सारे कोल ब्लॉक चाहे वो ज्वाइंट वेंचर के थे या प्राइवेट के थे चाहे वो माइनिंग कर रहे थे या नहीं कर रहे थे वो सारे कैंसिल कर दिए All right, uh, that's the latest that you heard uh, from the lawyer over there saying that the Supreme Court has cancelled all but four illegal coal blocks that were allocated earlier on. And these four that have been uh, not been cancelled are central government units. अरे यार ये ये लगाओ ये वाला ही देखो भाई अरे यार ये माइक अरे यार तू जनन ये देखिए यार मेरा माइक जाओ जाओ तू जाओ माइक नहीं लगा माइक नहीं लगा माइक नहीं लगा माइक नहीं अरे अंकित आगे साथ आ जाने थोड़ा तो अरे मारा मारी नहीं यार नहीं मुंह में घुसा दो माइक all right in fact uh, we are expecting uh, some more reactions from the supreme court but this is a very crucial decision coming in uh, the apex court was to come out with a verdict at two and now we know that all but four coal blocks have uh, been cancelled सारे कोल ब्लॉक 218 माइनस चार सारे कैंसिल किए गए हैं All right, we heard the lawyers over there earlier on. We also heard a lawyer saying that uh, these four blocks that haven't been cancelled uh, on the basis that they are the units of the central government. We are expecting that uh, lawyer to speak again. Let's try and listen in. Okay, up. Sir, sir, sir. Let him continue, yeah. अलॉटी से छह महीने तक काम कर सकेंगे 31 मार्च 2015 को ये काम अपना बंद कर देंगे और जो काम कर रहे हैं या जिनके पुराने जो चालू थे सबको दो सौ पचानवे रुपये पर टन देना पड़ेगा जिस दिन से इन्होंने कोयला निकाला और जिस दिन तक निकालेंगे तो समझिए पुराना जो भी है पाँच साल पाँच साल जिसका भी जो है अब टू थर्टी फर्स्ट मार्च 2015 तक का जुर्माना दो सौ पचानवे रुपये देना पड़ेगा और ये भी केंद्र सरकार ने सजेस्ट किया था सी की रिपोर्ट पे कि भाई ये अमूमन नुकसान नज़र आता है ये कोर्ट ने एक्सेप्ट करा है और ये भी कंडीशन पे होते हैं। ठीक है सर अब बाकी अब क्या करेंगे इसमें क्या ऑक्शन ऑक्शन होगा इनका? We are not worried about the looming power crisis in the face of all these crisis. ठीक है। 
court has given judgment today accepted the stand of the government of india that if all the coal blocks which are cancer are cancer the government will be in a position to move forward now the court has cancelled all allocations except four so four remain out of 280 and those four are two belong to an ultra mega power project in the state of madhya pradesh so those were in any case not a part of the judgment but they have been clarified that they are not affected the two which have been saved by the supreme court is one belonging to ntpc and one belonging to sale both are central government companies and therefore they are the only companies which have been saved the court has said that 6 months time is given to all allocates including these 46 that they will carry on with coal ex uh, exploitation till 31st march 2015 so that within 6 months they also put their affairs in order and the central government gets also equipped to carry on after 31st march maybe by telling cil that is coal india All right, uh, there you have it. Uh, the Supreme Court's decision coming in as uh, final. Remember, this decision was taken on 218 coal blocks that were allocated uh, from the year 1993 till the year 2011. That's uh, this decision uh, from the Supreme Court coming uh, as a setback for the coal companies. 214 coal blocks stand cancelled. Only four. that are hold by the central government unit i am sure that uh, with the least hiccups the process will carry on in a legal fashion aapne sir apne hearing ke dauran mein aapne ye bhi kaha tha ki jo 46 coal blocks hain unko spare kar do agar chahe to spare kar de humne court ke samne ye mudda rakha tha ki 46 aise hain jinhone kaam chalu kar diya hai ya do char aise hain jo kal karne ko taiyar hai agar court unko bachana chahe to humne unke bhi aankde diye the lekin court ne usme se char nikale दो यू और दो मैंने आज जैसे आपको बताया क्योंकि बाकियों में सब में एक प्राइवेट एलिमेंट था जो जॉइंट वेंचर कॉरपोरेशन का जिसमें सरकार और कोई प्राइवेट पार्टीज का जॉइंट वेंचर था तो कोर्ट ने ये क्लियर कर दिया है कि उनको नहीं बचाया जाएगा प्योर गवर्नमेंट को किसी भी प्राइवेट पार्टी को राहत नहीं नहीं नहीं, नहीं, नहीं राहत नहीं मिली आगे ऑप्शन की प्रक्रिया हो सकती है कानून में ऑप्शन लिखा है और अगर सरकारी कंपनियों को दी जाएगी तो ऑक्शन की जरूरत नहीं है यह भी कानून में लिखा है नो नाउ सिक्स मंथ ब्रीदिंग टाइम हैज बीन गिवन फॉर दी माइनिंग टू गो ऑन एज बिफोर एंड देर फोर विद इन सिक्स मंथ्स दे विल कैरी ऑन वी विल पुट द ब्लू प्रिंट इन प्लेस and commence the auctions as soon as possible or allocations to government companies without auction and meanwhile the coal india will be ready to take over from 1st april 2015 if it is required till the time the mine is actually handed over post auction thank you thank you sir thank you within the next 6 months yeah of course the government will decide madam but some will be auctioned yeah and some which are given to government may not be auctioned both the procedures are the stand of the court was that actually this would really not affect the energy crisis because the amount all right uh, in fact jaskirat singh baba uh, joins me over the uh, phone line from uh, the supreme court shiva roor standing by the newsroom jaskirat if i can come to you first uh, we heard uh, this comes as a very crucial decision all uh, coal blocks cancelled just four remain and these four are central government units give us the details of this uh, uh, you know uh, supreme court uh, Uh, yeah, order that has come in right now, uh, just Kirat. Well, the implication. Let us understand what's happened. We already know that all of these coal block allocations were held to be illegal. So that is uh, indisputable because that is held on the twenty fifth of August. What has happened now is that four have been given exemption. The details of these four are two belong to ultra mega power projects. So that obviously has a direct impact on power generation, electricity. So that they have been exempted. Apart from that, there were two more blocks which belonged one to NTPC and one to Sale. That's Steel Authority of India Limited. Both the NTPC and Sale are government PSUs, they're public sector units, which is why they have also been saved from this. Above, 
these up and apart from these four exemptions no one else has been spared however to try and cushion the impact on the economy on these the companies and on the power generation and to ensure that it remains unrestricted six months time has been given before right. the cancellation takes effect so as of 31st of march 2015 the cancel the, the all these companies have to cease production and by that time the government is supposed to put a blueprint in place as to how they plan to go forward whether they plan to auction and how they plan to ensure that in fact the the, the impact of this decision is minimal on the economy right uh, just kira do stay with me let me go across to shiv as well uh, shiv this deallocation is going to cost uh, you know these uh, coal companies losses worth crores and crores of rupees give us a sense of what is to happen next because we believe that uh, these companies these coal blocks uh, will be once again put up for auction later you know the precise details of what the implications are going to be uh, sana are still trickling in and uh, we expect more clarity uh, on that from the government uh, you know and the finance ministry and other departments uh, you know a little later in the day at this point of time uh, you know as jaskir had said the implications we can be sure of one thing are going to be gargantuan they are going to have an impact for certain on power generation uh, you know india largely depends on thermal power uh, there is also the question of the economic revival that is so dependent on Inga, uh, india's increasing and amplified hunger uh, you know for consistent and predictable power supply now i just want to read out uh, you know to extend on the point that jaskirat just made uh, you know about how uh, the supreme court had already on the 25th of august this year sana had held all of these uh, you know all these coal blocks as illegal the ones that have been deallocated the ones that have been cancelled are all non government and non joint venture coal blocks the four that have been uh, you know saved from the supreme court's acts are government right. Shiv, and just a moment just ones. a moment we are uh, getting a reaction as well uh, let's try and listen into what uh, we are hearing from the court रोल आज जो आदेश हुआ है उस पर क्या कहा जाए चार को छोड़ करके सबको कैंसिल कर दिया गया सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने आज अपने 25 अगस्त को आगे बढ़ाते हुए फैसले के सारे कानूनी परिणाम जिन कंपनियों को ये अवैध आवंटन किए गए थे जिसको सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने अपने 25 अगस्त के फैसले में बोला था कि ये सारे आवंटन कानूनी हैं आर्बिट्ररी हैं मेलाफाइडी हैं वगैरह वगैरह उसमें आज सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने बोला है कि चाहे इन्होंने काम भले ही शुरू कर दिया हो चाहे कोयला निकालना भी शुरू कर दिया हो लेकिन उनको चार को छोड़कर सबको रद्द करके सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने आज ये बोला है कि सिर्फ वो वाले खदान जहां पर कोयला निकाला जा रहा है उनको सिर्फ अगले छह महीने तक काम करने दिया जाएगा और चार और खदान जिसमें कि दो पिछले 25 अगस्त के फैसले में सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने बोल दिया था कि ये दो जिनमें कि कंपटिटिव बिडिंग हुई है बिजली के रेट्स के लिए उनको तो वैध ठहराया गया है लेकिन उनके बारे में भी बोल दिया गया था कि वो वहां से कोयला किसी और कंपनी को नहीं भेज सकते सिर्फ वो बिजली बनाने में उसको इस्तेमाल कर सकते हैं जो बिजली उनको उसी दाम पर बेचनी पड़ेगी जिस पर इनका कंपटिटिव बिडिंग से तय हुआ था बाकी दो और पब्लिक सेक्टर कंपनियां स्टील अथॉरिटी ऑफ इंडिया के पास एक खदान थी और एन नेशनल थर्मल पावर कॉरपोरेशन जिसके पास एक और खदान थी जिन्होंने कोई निजी कंपनी के साथ जॉइंट वेंचर नहीं किया था उनको भी रद्द नहीं किया गया है इन चार को छोड़ के बाकी 218 और उनमें से जो काम कर रहे थे सबको रद्द कर दिया गया है सिर्फ वो जो 36 जो और काम कर रहे थे उनको छह महीने की राहत दी गई है कि जिससे कि अगले छह महीने के अंदर इन खदानों में से जो कोयला निकाला जा रहा है उसका इंजाम केंद्र सरकार कुछ कर सके कोल इंडिया को कोल अथॉरिटी ऑफ इंडिया को उन उसमें से कोयला निकालने का आ, काम दिया जा सके उसके अलावा 
सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने यह भी बोला है कि अभी तक जितना कोयला इन कंपनियों ने निकाला है इन अवैध आवंटन के कारण उसमें दो सौ टन जितना भी कोयला निकाला गया है दो सौ टन उनको सरकार को देना पड़ेगा जो कि सी ने अपनी रिपोर्ट में बताया था कि कम से कम इतना अवैध फायदा इन कंपनियों को इस कोयले से हो रहा है जो छह महीने के जिनको राहत दी गई है जिन छत्तीस कंपनियों को जो चल रही थी उनको भी बोला गया है कि आपको दो सौ टन सरकार को देना पड़ेगा ये जो कोयला आप निकालेंगे रिलायंस की कंपनी के अल्ट्रा मेगा पावर प्रोजेक्ट के शासन के दो ब्लॉक्स थे जिसमें कि कंपेटिटिव बिडिंग हुई थी बिजली कि इस कोयले से जो बिजली बनाई जाएगी वो सबसे सस्ते दाम पर कौन बेचेगा तो रिलायंस ने सबसे कम दाम बिड किए थे रिलायंस मतलब कि ये दूसरी अनिल अंबानी की रिलायंस कंपनी लेकिन उसमें भी कोर्ट ने ये कह दिया है कि ये जो इनको वहाँ से कोयला दूसरी कंपनियों को देने का जो सरकार ने जो अधिकार दिया था वो रद्द किया जाता है वो कोयला सिर्फ यही बिजली बनाने के लिए इस्तेमाल कर सकते हैं जो भी रेट पर बेचनी पड़ेगी जिस रेट पर उन्होंने कंपटिटिव बिड्स दिए थे इसके साथ में कोई फिक्स किया है कि दोबारा तब होगा नहीं वो तो सरकार के ऊपर छोड़ दिया है क्योंकि सरकार ने बोला था कि हमारी पूरी तैयारी है इन कोल ब्लॉक्स का ऑक्शन करने की हमारी पूरी तैयारी है तो उन्होंने सरकार का और अटर्नी जनरल का स्टेटमेंट रिकॉर्ड कर लिया है कि सरकार इससे चिंतित नहीं है कि इससे हमारी अर्थव्यवस्था पर कोई खास असर पड़ेगा और सरकार की पूरी तैयारी है कि इन कोल ब्लॉक्स का फिर से आवंटन कंपेटिटिव बिडिंग के द्वारा ऑक्शन के द्वारा करवाएगी स्पीक इन इंग्लिश टुडे द सुप्रीम कोर्ट हैज फॉलोड थ्रू विथ इट्स हिस्टोरिक जजमेंट ऑफ ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ ऑगस्ट बाई विच दे हैड कैंस बाई विच दे हैड डिक्लेयर ऑल द कोल ब्लॉक टू हंड्रेड एंड एटीन कोल ब्लॉक एलोकेशन मेड फ्रॉम नाइनटीन नाइन्टी थ्री टिल डेट टू बी आर्बिट्ररी इलीगल मेलाफाइडी एंड हेंस वॉइड दे हैव हेल्ड टूडे इन देयर फॉलो थ्रू जजमेंट that none of these companies can be allowed to continue with coal mining the only exception that they have made that they had made in the earlier judgment was for two ultra mega power companies which had bid for the power that they will produce out of this coal and where the court had said that no diversion of this coal would be uh, allowed other than that two public sector companies that is ntpc and steel authority of india who had also got allocations of 11 coal block which had not entered into any joint ventures with private companies these two have also been allowed to continue other than that all the other allocations whether they were already producing coal or not producing coal they have been cancelled the only thing that they have said is that those who are producing coal already those remaining 36 which are producing coal they will be allowed to continue to do that for the next 6 months by way of transitory provisions so that the government can make arrangement with the coal authority to resume mining from these coal blocks so the however the court has made it clear that all allottees who have extracted coal from these illegal allotments till now will have to pay 295 rupees a ton to the government for all the coal extracted till today within a period of 3 months and also those who are allowed to continue for the remaining 6 months will also have to pay the same 295 rupees a ton this, this brings to a close the entire uncertainty about these allocations where the court has made it clear that all these allocations are cancelled those who are extracting coal will be allowed to continue for another 6 months they will have to pay 295 rupees a ton to the government for every ton of coal extracted as well also those who had earlier extracted that means all the extraction from the beginning till today they will have to pay 295 rupees a ton which is the figure calculated by the cndag as the loss uh, as the average loss being occasioned to the government 
by way of giving these coal block allocations free to these to these companies. Has the government given any assurance that yes, an auction will be carried out and if it will be carried out, will the mines be under the aegis of the CIL and when will the auctions happen? That's the first question. The second question is, there was a fear of the industry that where uh, the investments are concerned, uh, that would be hit, number one, and number two, uh, there would be a coal crisis. But this was not the view of the Supreme Court. Can you just explain these three points? Yes, you see, the Supreme Court uh, had in the previous hearing noted the fact that not more than 7% of the total coal being extracted is coming out of these uh, of these particular allocations which which was the subject matter of this challenge 46 blocks. secondly from these uh, 40 blocks or so secondly uh, they also noted the contention of the government that the government is not unduly perturbed or concerned about any kind of uh, uh, economic crisis that would be occasioned by the cancellation of these coal block allocations. They have also noted the submission of the government and the Attorney General that the government is fully ready to go ahead with the real allocation through auction of these coal blocks uh, within a reasonable period of time and that is why the court has given six months time to those companies which were already mining coal from the blocks where leases had been executed so that this transition could be uh, could be smoothly made. So what is the interim arrangement where the auctions are concerned? I think it will be with the CIL until 2015 no, the or so. auctions have to be done by the government. The interim arrangement is that for next six months these companies can continue to mine by paying 295 rupees a ton. They will also have to pay 295 rupees a ton for the past coal that they have extracted from these blocks. Uh, within six months, the government has to make alternative arrangements of either auctioning or giving it to Coal India or whatever. All right, so this comes as a very, very crucial verdict. Uh, the SC scrapping all barring four coal block allocations. In fact, Jaskirat Singh Baba is joining me from the Supreme Court over the telephone line. Jaskirat, there you have it. We heard in detail from the lawyers over there one by one. Now the challenge is that the government will have to come up with a blueprint for coal allocation within six months time. All right, we'll try and reconnect with Jaskirat Singh uh, Baba in just a bit. Shiv Arur uh, also joining me with the latest inputs. Shiv, uh, very crucial uh, this uh, verdict coming in from the Supreme Court. We were talking earlier about the importance of this particular case and uh, what sort of an impact uh, can we expect. You know, one assessment, uh, Sana, uh, puts it down to a staggering 2.86 lakh crore. The financial implications and impact of the deallocation of these coal blocks and that's precisely what happens as Prashant Bhushan just mentioned apart from the two ultra mega power projects uh, uh, for which there were coal allocations to Coal India Limited, NTPC and uh, uh, and the Steel Authority of India Limited those four coal blocks uh, can continue to function but apart from that 214 coal blocks have been deallocated. They've been cancelled. Uh, these, were, these were allocations that happened between 1993 to 2010. As many as 36 screening committees, uh, you know, had functioned, uh, you know, during these allocations. So all of these are now completely void, the word that uh, Prashant Bhushan used. The crucial part is the transitory provisions. What happens over the next six months, uh, Sana, is the big question that the government will need to ponder over. Uh, the 36 to 40 uh, you know, coal blocks that were actually producing coal, right. that were going towards power generation. What happens to each of these coal blocks? Uh, uh, the, the, the money that will have to be paid, not just for every ton of coal that is mined now, but also retrospectively for all the coal that's been mined ever since the allocations actually took place. All of these over the transitory provisions are going to have a huge impact on not just power generation, but, but what each of these companies that have been allocated these coal blocks actually plan to do. And we're expecting reactions in a short while from now about precisely what happens. What is important to note is, uh, Sana, that the Supreme Court has gone by the center's recommendations on this entire issue right. following the august 25th verdict where they had declared all of these coal blocks illegal they have followed up this is a follow-up verdict where they've declared uh, where they've basically cancelled all these uh, uh cancelled absolutely all these where the government had to told the, the supreme uh, court that uh, it is up to it whatever decision it might take even go ahead and cancel and that's what uh, precisely the supreme court has 
uh, done, taken that advice, but also this uh, comes as a very uh, uh, crucial verdict. Let's get uh, our viewers a reaction from the former coal secretary PC Parak. All right, uh, uh, important reaction there from the former coal secretary. Jaskirat Singh Baba is now joining me live. Jaskirat, we are talking about the implications of this verdict. Shiv was pointing out a couple of points earlier on, but uh, two also very important points coming out is that companies will have to pay now uh, some sort of uh, compensation to 95 rupees per ton till a stipulated period of time till the new auctions are held. And also the government will have to come up with a new plan for a bidding now. On your first question, on the question of the 295 rupees per ton, which has been levied as a penalty, now that figure was arrived at as per the CAG report, which first brought to light the coal scam and the coal block allocation scam. Now that figure and 295 rupees per ton of mining is actually retrospectively applicable. We have to uh, go through the details of the judgment, which weren't really uh, spoken out in court, to understand as to how far back does this penalty apply to, because as per the petitioners, this actually goes back to when the allocation began. And this penalty will continue till the production continues, which is till the 31st of March. If even a rough calculation will uh, give us a detail that each and every single company will end up paying hundreds or perhaps even thousands of crores in penalty, which will of course go into the exchequer's account. Apart from that, on the second question about the government's blueprint, already mm. the government through various channels have made it evident to the court that they are, do intend to go for an auction process because let us remember that this actually has its genesis in the 2G case, in the 2G license cancellation where the Supreme Court had said that such natural resources like spectrum, coal, etc. should in fact be auctioned out to get the best price possible for the country to be able to make the maximum use of it. So it is more than likely that the government will be going for an open bidding process. Right. However, the Attorney General did not place that on record for the time being. They have six months time to draw in and finalize the blueprint as to what they plan to do going forward after the 31st of March next year when the production will cease in all these coal blocks. Absolutely. Uh, Shiv, coming back to you, you know what we understand after the Supreme Court verdict is that, is that it has cancelled or deallocated all those coal blocks that were essentially for the private companies, but save these four blocks which were solely, it said, uh, for, uh, you know, public companies. Those have remained. So give us a sense from uh, your understanding of this verdict as to what has been the criteria of the court saving these four coal blocks for now. Well, uh, the, uh, you know, as, as uh, Jaskirat had pointed out earlier and as, as, he, as he reported first here on headlines today, uh, the, the four ultra-mega power, uh, you know, uh, power projects for which these allocations have been made, uh, you know, have been, uh, you know, have, have sort of escaped the Supreme Court's act. Uh, now, remember the 25th August verdict is extremely important. That was a sweeping verdict. There were no, there, there were no criteria there. It had basically, in one fell swoop, declared all allocations uh, as being completely illegal. All of them that have passed through as many as 36 screening committees on the 25th of August, the Supreme Court of India had declared them as illegal. Now, what has happened today, we must point out, is a follow-up verdict on action that needs to be taken on these illegal coal blocks. Very good question. What was the criteria based on which those four coal blocks were actually saved? Remember, mm. they are government-owned by government companies allocated to companies that are non-joint uh, you know, non venture companies companies, which means these are allocations made to the Steel Authority of India, to NTPC, the National Th Thermal Power Corporation and the Coal, uh, Coal India Limited, which basically means these were allocations which had no connection to the private sector. These were, uh, these were allocations that were within the government and therefore uh, you know, not based on the same principles on which right. uh, and the same system as PC Parak just mentioned, on which these were allocated to private companies, uh, as a result of which by default they remain with the government. The important point is, Sana, what happens to the others now? Six months stipulated period, as you rightly pointed out, and Jaskira is going to be uh, getting us a more detailed view of that particular judgment, going into the fine print to provide us a sense of what happens during the transitory period, which is going to be very important. What happens to those cancelled coal blocks? How are they going to be allocated, what happens over the next six months, and can the private companies stomach the massive penalties, as just right. pointed out, that, they, that, that are going to be imposed on them now? Absolutely. Those are uh, very crucial questions. Shiv and Jaskira, do stay with me. Let's try and listen into what uh, Mukul Rohatki said right after that crucial verdict. The court has cancelled all allocations except four. So four remain out of 218, and those four are two belong to an ultra mega power project in the state of Madhya Pradesh, 
So those were in any case not a part of the judgment, but they have been clarified that they are not affected. Hmm. The two which have been saved by the Supreme Court is one belonging to NTPC and one belonging to SAIL. Both are central government companies and therefore they are the only companies which have been saved. So now six months breathing time has been given in the six for the uh, mining to go on as before. And therefore, within six months, they will carry on, we will put the blueprint in place and commence the auctions as soon as possible or allocations to government companies without auction.